You are now tuned in to Conrad TV. Don't switch that station. Don't turn it off. You now tuned in to Comrade TV. I'm Comrade. Some people know me as Chris Goodman. I'm a hip hop artist, an activist, and a student. Real shit. I was born black, I live black, and I'm gonna die probably because I'm black. Because some cracker that knows I'm black better than you, nigga, is probably gonna put a bullet in the back of my head. I've been a part of planning a lot of major events such as citywide conferences, been um, a spokesperson on a, on a national scale uh, for the organization. Um, and as far as the protests are concerned, I've been a part of the advocacy committee, which is the group of students who put together these protests. So right now, we at the Baltimore Algebra Project office, 2524 North Charles. And now we've about to have this advocacy committee meeting. With, so this is the office right here, right on the second floor. Um, this is where we put all the meetings together, decide how we're going to march or how we gonna speak at a certain event, what we gonna say on the radio, what we gonna eat, you know, for the meeting. This is where it go down right here. So, Baltimore Algebra Project, no education, no life. Right now, I'm putting together the agenda points we need to hit during the meeting. Baltimore Algebra Project, um, which is a youth run organization, and I uh, mentor students there and how to express ourselves as young people and fight back against the miseducation and uh, underfunding we receive as young people. That was Jim from Wide Angle um, updating me on like the script for the Who Are You um, Wide Angle Youth Festival that's going to be happening Monday. So they're having a script rehearsal tonight at the same time as the advocacy meeting, so I'm not going to be able to make that. But they're having a drive-through, I mean drive-run officially um, Friday from 4 to 7 at center stage where the event's going to take place. So, yeah. Right now, um, I'm working on Vengeance, uh, which is the album. Um, and there's going to be a free mixtape called Global Warning, uh, the Prevenge. And that's going to be free online. We take it back to city. We take it back to city. This rubble shit is in me. You can go to my milli. When they come to bars, got about nine million. Your man going far if you analyze when Chris engages in hip hop, I think he's doing it on so many levels. I think number one, he loves the culture. He loves the music. You know what I mean? So he's a part of it in that sense. I think two, he recognizes the tremendous influence that it has, you know, and he's somebody, like I said, he's trying to make change, you know? And so if you're someone who's trying to make change in 2010 and you live in Baltimore and you're black, um, you, you should be, you know, and you're trying to connect with young people, you know, young people who have short attention spans and, you know, um, and, are, and, are, and are, are very visual um, and who also are involved very deeply in, in the culture, then hip hop um, and rap specifically is an excellent tool to reach them. Yeah, center stage, um, about to get this uh, youth festival jumping off. It's the fifth annual Poor You Youth Media Festival, and I'm the host, you know, Comrade. And we down here, Baltimore City, Calvary Street, Center Stage. It's going to be a showcase of young poets, other artists, and performers, and as well as um, young filmmakers that's going to be showcasing their videos. I'm going to do a track. It's going to be good. Got some good stuff. Some steppers. Got the West Siders, the band up in here. So it's going to be live. Like 600 people in attendance. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be great. They go ahead and be posted up right where that mic is. So when the performers going up, the poets or whatever, announce the names, get the crowd hype a little bit. They gonna do that thing. I work with Chris. Um, he's a great person. He's always wanna save the community. He does a lot of youth activist work in pieces right now so what Chris do basically he's the group so he's putting it back together with the help with the um the BNP. He's a good model for other young people and he's on it you know he says he's gonna do something he does it um he 
is really one of the most impressive students that I've ever seen on a, a number of levels in terms of all the different things that he's balancing and how committed he is to these things, you know, to his uh, hip hop career, to his activism, and to his studies, and just to his growth as a human being. He's really exceptional. In Baltimore City, our schools are trash. There's, we don't have toilet paper, no soap, um, hardly any, any textbooks, uh, technology, and things like that. And under the Constitution, the state of Maryland, because there's no federal right to education in this country, there's the state, right? So in Maryland, you're required to receive a thorough and efficient education, right? So students, we went to the school board and asked, what does that mean? So they said it was these standardized tests, the MISPEP tests and things like that. So, which is basically a sixth and eighth grade level of education. So by law, under our state constitution, the state is only required to give us an eighth grade education. I made an observation and now I have to transform it into an obligation. You know, people who's in SNCC and, and the Black Panthers and around those type of people, I've, I've grown to understand that to really build the world we need, we're going to have to fight back because the people who are in power now aren't going to give up their power without a fight. You know what I'm saying? Change. The only thing in this universe it remains the same is change. 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 Chris the Goodman at gmail.com. Yo, this Conrad TV about to get out of here. They about to storm this motherfucker any second. So holla at y'all. Peace.